Today I'm showing you how you can make your own custom GUI. As you can see, I have mine over here, the beautiful pink hearts and the It's Me 64 hotbar. Very ugly, but I just made it as an example in this video. So to get started, you'll need to download the sample pack, which I have right over here on my des desktop, and I will link that down in the description below. So the sample pack is a zip file, and to unzip it, you want to right click on it, click on extract all, and then on extract once again. Now depending on your operating system, System or the device you're using, you might not actually have that as an option, and if you don't, then you'll need to download another program, for example, 7-Zip or WinRAR. Now, you know, um, you will need that program anyways, because there's actually another step in the video for which you need it for too, right? Um, so, you know, either way, you're going to need the program, um, so it's important that you download it if you cannot unzip it through your uh, device. Anyways, now you have a zip file under regular folder, you can actually delete the zip fo file um, right there. So now we're left with the folder over here. Let's go into there. Um, this is the sample pack. This is actually going to allow you to make it a lot quicker. So we can go into there, and then you'll see that there's two things, and we're going to need to um, work with both of these. Let's go into the textures folder first, then into the GUI folder. Make sure you don't ac accidentally rename stuff um, or accidentally delete this folder, for example. It's very important that it stays this way, otherwise your pack's not going to work. Anyways, in here, you're going to find two things. Um, two files and you can edit both of these um, as this is a standard editing program I recommend paint 3d because it's just really simple to use um, and it's really all you need for this you can of course use anything you want for example paint.net a sprite um, really anything right so here um, you might notice a lot of these things from inside of Minecraft and that is because these are some of Minecraft's textures you know the GUI textures um, so you might notice these these are for when you have armor on these are your hearts inside of Minecraft different hearts for when you got wither poison ate a golden apple um, basically you get the idea right this is the experience bar the horse jump bar I think anyways um, really you can just go ahead and edit these so each square you see here is one pixel, so you want to make sure you select the pixel pen, in Paint 3D at least, and then turn the size down to one pixel, right? Um, then you can just select any color that you want and uh, start work on this. There we are. So let's say, um, just as an example, I'll turn these hearts from red into a pinkish purple, I suppose. It's more pink than purple, isn't it? So we can do that right here. Um, there we are looking pretty good there and then that last bit as well there we are very nice now I have this heart um, and it's turned from pink to red now what if I have a half heart well then I'll copy this and paste it on top of that BAM now I've changed both of those right I'm not gonna go through the edit through the effort sorry of changing everything over here um, you know what maybe I wanna put an um I'll put a blue smiley face that does not look like a smiley face, does it? I'll put a blue smiley face just like that on the experience bar. Um, once again, just as an example, can't see that that well, actually. Let's turn it to white. There we go. Now it, it's a bit more obvious. Um, basically, you can do anything you want here. I'm just doing some random stuff just to show you guys as an example. But you can change this as much as you want. Um, do keep in mind that if you do some random stuff over here, then that's not going to show in game. Um, if the entire background is white, then make sure you go into canvas and make sure that transparent canvas is turned on. Um, if you want to make things more detailed, uh, earlier you saw that I um, you can edit these one pixel at a time. Well, you can also increase the size of the canvas. So, for example, to 500, not that big, um, 512 pixels. And now I've basically doubled the size, which means that now I can work with these basically what are now half pixels as well, right? Um, so you can do that if you want to make it more detailed, I suppose, um, or have some other specific ideas about what you want to do with this. If you're not going to do that, though, just keep it the normal size. That's easier for Minecraft to run, right? Um, basically, you can edit as much as you want there. Control S to save it, um, or menu, and then save it from there. Make sure you do not rename um, this file because well then you're not going to be happy right so keep it called icons if you rename it it's not going to work so we can move on this onto this GUI file here basically 
this uh, works the exact same way, right? You might recognize uh, some buttons over here. This is your hotbar. Um, got those things there. These are some buttons you can find in mobile. Uh, the mobile control buttons, I believe these are some of the potion effects. Um, this is weakness. Weakness, strength, I believe, mining fatigue, haste. You get the idea. I think these are the buttons you can find inside of a beacon. Beacon levels right here. Um, basically, just a, a bunch of things there. Um, and of course, the buttons as well that you can find inside of Minecraft. Now, there is one important thing with the buttons, and I'm going to try and showcase that here. So, let's say you want to add a cool design to these, and you're going to make. Um, Oh, this is large, okay. You're going to make some sort of uh, tree on the buttons, right? Or some sort of kind of cool design. Well, you need to keep in mind that all of the, um, that some buttons in Minecraft are different sizes, uh, right? So, for example, maybe you have the settings button, which is a certain size, but then you have buttons inside of settings, which have the same texture but different sizes. Meaning that this button is inside of Minecraft, going to get chopped up and stuff like that. Meaning that if you put designs on like this, um, that this design is probably going to get chopped in half or not shown at all or shown sideways, right? So it's best to put reoccurring patterns on there if you edit these buttons at all. Um, then, of course, we have the uh, hop bar as well here. You know, we can put... Um, you know, you, you can recolor them, put smiley faces. Um, you can do anything you want, really. So basically, because I'm the narcissist that I am, I wrote my own name here. Just write as an example of something you can do to edit these things. You can save it, click out of it, and that's really that simple. You've now edited Minecraft GUI. So that is pretty cool, isn't it? You can go back to this area over here where we were earlier, and you'll see the manifest.json file. And now we're going to edit this. To do that, you're going to need a text editor. You can use any editor you want. Notepad, Notepad++, which is what I use. You can use any code editor, really anything. Um, and you'll notice it's a JSON file, so you might not be able to open it right away. And if you can't, you want to right-click on it, go over to Open With, and then select the text editor you want. As I said, I'm going to be using Notepad++. It's free. Download it from the Microsoft Store if you want to. Um, anyways, you'll see this over here, and we're going to need to edit some things. So first off, we have this Description tab. Pretty cool. You can write in... Um, a pack description, so SM64's uh, cool pack description. Uh, yep, I did spell that correctly. Okay, pretty cool. Um, basically, you can just write any description there you want. This is actually going to show in Minecraft as well um, underneath your pack, so that's going to be pretty nice. And of course, you want to give your um, pack a name as well. And to do that, I'm going to prompt all you guys to subscribe, please. Um, yeah, basically, Make sure you put it in between the quotation marks. Do keep in mind that this is code, so for example, if you accidentally delete this comma, the entire file is not going to work, Minecraft is not going to recognize it, and your pack's not going to work, which, you know, would be too bad, so just be careful there. Um, then, you know, once you have your description, you actually want to copy that and then paste it in between this description area right here as well, um, just to make sure that it shows properly inside of Minecraft. And then we actually have a third thing we need to edit. Oh, the description and name are optional, by the way. I mean, you don't need to, but it's cool. Um, we have the UUID over here, which is a universally unique identifier. By having one of these, Minecraft is going to know what your pack is. Now, we already have two, but these are two existing ones, which means that your pack is not unique. So what you need to do is go to uuidgenerator.net. I will link that down in the description for you. And this UUID that just got generated over here is universally unique, right? So I can click on this copy button and I'll copy it. Then in Notepad++, select the entire previous UUID and paste your new one over it. Great. Then you need to go back refresh and grab a second one. Do keep in mind that if you use the same UUID twice, um, so if I paste that one on here as well, then it's not going to work, so I don't really recommend doing that, right? Because I assume you want your pack to work. Um, anyways, once you've done all that, you're happy with the name and the description, and you've changed the UUIDs, well, then you're good, and you can click on Control s to save this. 
um, and that's going to break or of course you can go to file and save it from there as well either way make sure it's saved now you've done the textures folder and the manifest file too so you're almost ready to go there's actually a third optional step and that is to add an icon for your pack i have mine right over here it's my own channel logo pretty cool now there is a few things we need to do for this before do to this before we can actually it's going to work as a pack logo first off open it up you can once again just use paint 3d ugly logo i know i'm going to change it soon um, make sure that it's square because that way it's not going to get cropped or stretched inside of Minecraft. Um, so it's important that the logo is square. And then there is a second thing. You see the JPG on the end there? Well, if you don't or if you don't see anything on the end there, make sure you have file name extensions enabled. I can do that by going into view, show, and making sure that file name extensions are ticked. Um, depending on your operating system, it might be a little bit different, um, but either way, you want to make sure you can see file name extensions. You can also see over here, this is a JPG file. Now, that's objectively wrong. Um, Mo Minecraft doesn't like JPG files, so what we need to do is go ahead, go to rename, and then go over here, remove the JPG from the end, and change it to PNG, just like that gonna give this pop-up we can click on yes right here as you can see still works perfect it's now a png file and minecraft does like those i know very racist now it's called it's me 64.png but that is not even good enough for minecraft yet you want to rename it once again this time not the file name extension but the actual name call it pack underscore icon Make sure there are no capital letters or anything like that. And then, once you have done that, you're good to go. So you want to go over to the folder called Sample. Once you are looking at that folder called Sample, which is of course included in the Sample Pack, you want to right-click on that and then click on Compress the Zip File. Basically the opposite of what we did at the beginning of this video. Once you click on that, well, yeah, once again, you might need the um, 7-zip or WinRAR or something like that linked in the description if you don't uh, have it or can't do it with your own device. Basically, this right here is your pack, so you can call this anything you want. It's 64 is um, custom GY, pretty fitting name, don't you think? Um, so basically, that's good, except for one thing. We need to rename it again. So we want to right-click on that, go over to rename, and you see the dot .zip at the end? Well, yeah, just like we did with the pack logo earlier, we need to do with this now. So remove the dot .zip from the end, and you want to replace it with mcpack. That is dot .mcpack. Make sure you don't accidentally remove the dot. Then hit on enter, or just click anywhere. Once again, we'll get this pop-up. We can click on yes. Now, under the type, as you can see, it's an MC pack. That's exactly what we want. And the cool thing, this now has the Minecraft grass logo. So all we need to do is double-click on that, and it's going to automatically import itself into Minecraft. If that doesn't work, then go ahead and right-click on it, click on Open With, and then select Minecraft. Now we're in Minecraft, as you can see, import has started and it's successfully imported. Once your pack has been imported, you can go into this settings tab over here. Scroll down a little, go over to global resources, and then under my packs, there we go. Subscribe please with HP64's cool pack description. Great, that looks like the pack I just made. So you want to click on this and then click on activate. Now, as you can see, it should be listed under the Active tab. Make sure it's all the way at the top, which mine is, so that's great. That's going to mean it has the most priority and that it is actually going to work. So we can click on Play and then just go into any world. Cool, looks like I spawned in an unreasonably large, what is this, Mushroom Island? Oh yeah, like the rarest biome in the game. Um, anyways, as you can see, in my hotbar over here, um, it says It's Me 64 because that is um, totally not a cringe name of I thought of when I was like 11, but it is a very cool name. Um, so basically, oh, I changed the hearts too, right? 
let's just quickly um there we go go into survival and look at that i now have a beautiful pink hearts oh yeah guys i also kind of forgot to mention but if you wish to do so you can actually download the pack i made in this video it's not like it's a really good pack or something but if you want something for reference or anything like that then do feel free to download it it'll be linked in the description that's crazy let's see if we can find a zombie or something oh we can't because we're in a mushroom island oh there's a skeleton shoot me and then you'll see that the half hearts are also pink yep looks very nice you can stop now skeleton um Basically, that's that. Um, if you like this video, if it taught you something, if you made your own GUI, then show your appreciation by, of course, hitting that subscribe button. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I, of course, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.